freedom and immediate perception. I really love that powerful um, instruction or sentence. And it's, it's really, um, when we reflect on that freedom and immediate perception in each moment, no matter what data comes up, no matter what um, sensation, thought, emotion, experience come, comes up, we have complete freedom in immediacy of perception complete freedom right there because we have that choice in every moment to choose how do we want to relate to our data streams before I came to Balanced View I thought freedom will look a certain way I had a concept of what will be freedom no commitments no this no like I had all kinds of ideas about freedom but what I saw more and more is that the ultimate freedom is really the freedom in immediate perception that I know my choice in how I want to relate to the data that comes up for me. Now I can be in, in any circumstance and have that choice. That is complete freedom. Because I have complete freedom to choose how I want to relate to the data streams. It's so powerful to see that more and more that I don't need to be in a certain, I don't need to have certain set of data or certain circumstance to feel completely free. For me now, I see that my mind is free, not needing to hold on to any data streams, by allowing it to be as it is, no matter if I'm in a relationship or not, no matter if I'm committed to a working situation or not. We can com be completely free within our circumstance where we are, because basically we want to just have peace of mind, or at least that was for me the case. I just wanted to have a relaxed mind no matter what I was doing, and I thought, that would be if I have certain, certain circumstance in place. But the peace of mind we really find in every moment. In every moment. And then we can, of course, choose how we want to live our life. If we want to live in a relationship or if we want to work in that um, job or if we want to, you know, like, we, we have complete freedom to choose in that way as well. See what would be of most benefit. And that's what I see more and more. Through relying on open intelligence, everything becomes more and more aligned with what will be of most benefit. And that's ultimately what I want to um, focus on, seeing, okay, how can I really use my time and my energy for, um, for benefit, basically. And we heard so beautifully in the, in the talk, Candice was sharing so beautifully about our beneficial potency already present for each of us. We are all so um, powerful and potent and it's already present. And what we just see, we're just allowing ourselves to recognize that more and more in our, our own experience, more and more we get comfortable with our um, power to be of benefit and our natural capability to see what would be of most benefit in every moment. Naturally, just by showing up, by allowing ourselves to rest one short moment repeated many times. <coughs> Whenever we remember to do so, we just relax body and mind completely, again and again. This is so powerful, this instruction, to co come back to that instruction again and again. If we feel challenging data coming up, we can use the support of the Four Mainstays to remind us to take a short moment, to remind us of our true identity, open intelligence, the vastness of all data stream. So we're not collapsing into any data anymore. That's complete freedom, knowing that, that we have that choice in every moment. It's, it's so powerful using that, that choice, coming back to that choice again and again, especially in relationships when things come up. Taking complete responsibility for our data streams. Complete responsibility. No matter what comes up, we have a choice right there. We can choose how do we want to relate to that data stream that comes up. Do we want to indulge it, replace it, avoid it, or just allowing it to be as it is? And that's the easy way, allowing it to be as it is. Maybe sometimes not so easy initially because we are so used to using the other strategies, but that's completely fine. More and more it becomes natural. More and more it becomes natural that we don't jump onto all the data streams that are coming up. We're allowing them to be as they are. So that means we don't need to get rid of them. We just allow them to be as they are. And then we also see what will be of most benefit in relating with, uh, in, in, with people 
And it always will look different, completely different in each time, place and circumstance. But we know what will be of most benefit in relationships. And what I can see from my, um, from my experience with relating is that emphasizing data or indulging in my data never really led to harmony in a certain circumstance. It's just like when I indulge in my data, I don't see clearly, I feel. I don't see the whole picture. I don't see the whole vantage. I don't see exactly where the other person comes from because I'm so into my own story. But allowing myself to remain completely open, I can more and more see also where the other person is coming from. I have more understanding also for what comes up for the other person. And in that way, I can remain open-hearted and see what, what serves best in that moment. It's such a powerful way to relate to people because we're not just limited to just our data streams that come up for us, but we see everything not just so clearly. We can connect in a, in a complete open-hearted way, no matter what that looks like. I used to always thought, I always, I always thought it looked like I need to speak and I need to, you know, like, or certainly I need to discuss the data, I need to really find out. And what I could see, wow, connection is always present, no matter how it looks like. It can look like in conversation, it can look just being in complete silence, it can look in any certain way. There's no rule book in that, but the connection is always present. We can always connect completely as open intelligence, always on. Open intelligence never goes anywhere. It's so beautiful, and so beautiful to connect in that way with everyone, because then we really build a bridge to where everyone is at, just completely open and um, open-hearted. And, and what I see also in relating with other people, we more and more see that, because we see that we are not our data streams, more and more we see also the people that we are speaking or relating to are also not their data streams when things come up for people. So that way we just remain completely open. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing to have that complete connection, not taking ourselves to be someone or the other person for someone who is like this and that. And then we can just connect completely in that openness, open-heartedness. That is so natural to us. It feels so good to relate in that way, not needing to put people into boxes or not needing to put ourselves into boxes at all. Like, I'm like this and that, this person is like that and that. I mean, it's such a relief. I'm so glad that I've been introduced to this training where that just allowed me to open up, just really connecting what unites us as human beings. And it's beautiful to see how we... Um, yeah, how happiness is, is just so beautiful that it's not dependent on the circumstances we are in. It's just so, we it's more and more see that in my own experience. It's not dependent on the thoughts I have or on the experience that I have or the friends that I have or the workplace that I have. It's just really in every moment we connect to what is always stable, always at ease, always... I mean, it's, it's just amazing, open intelligence, shining forth every circumstance. And of course, that doesn't mean that there are not many data stream come, come up, negative data can come up, everything can come up, positive, neutral, negative. Circumstances that might be horrific in our lifetime or very saddening can come up. And I see with, with, with relying on open intelligence, I have the tool to face everything completely with a stability within everything, within all the emotions and sensations. A stability to see clearly what would be of most benefit, how I can support myself and other people in that, in a specific circumstance. And that doesn't mean there might be no happy data coming up, but complete stability within that. Complete ease, knowing that all is well. And that's why I see it's true happiness and ultimate happiness in every moment. And that's what we experience more and more by coming to this training, by allowing ourselves to really recognize the, the nature of all data. No data is left out. So that's what we are training up, coming to the trainings. More and more we get to know all the data streams about ourselves as open intelligence in a very natural way. 
very natural without needing to contrive anything or trying to push or anything as that. Just naturally more and more opens up, seeing more and more the equalness and evenness within all data stream. That's where we empower ourselves. That's where we become more and more clear in seeing <clears throat> how we can use our time and energy most beneficially and how we want to live our lives. And everybody's life looks different and everybody chooses different um, ways and that's perfectly fine and that's the openness where we see, where we really can see what is <clears throat> really of most benefit for ourselves and others. How do I want to live my life that will be of most benefit to all, including myself? 